Today we're cooperating with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Agricultural Research Service to release some biocontrol insects on old world climbing fern, the invasive species that's growing in our conservation lands and causing a lot of ecological impacts. And then spreading northward into central and north Florida at a rapid rate. Oh, that's really flammable. Old world climbing fern in swamps and wetlands allows these non-fire adapted communities to burn, damaging the habitats and preventing them from functioning as natural fire breaks. I'm Brian Nelson with the South West Florida Water Management District. I manage our vegetation management section. So we have two separate agents that we've brought out here today. I'm James Murphy. I'm a biological science technician at the USDA ARS Invasive Plant Research Lab in Fort Lauderdale. We are looking at the larva of Neomusatima conspercatalis. We also call it Neo. This larva will feed for a period of three weeks to a month before it will pupate and emerge as a moth. The other is a microscopic mite. Uh, the scientific name for that is Floracaris perepi. They'll basically feed inside those galls right there. The goal for releasing these two agents is to establish them in the field and with the hope that they will continue to feed and control the growth and spread of Ligodium. Today we're releasing some of the insects at the Pasco County uh, Water Treatment Plant in cooperation with Pasco County. Near this property here in Pasco is a Cypress Creek Preserve. And then we're also gonna go to a private property in the Green Swamp, uh, joining our Green Swamp property to release. Oral climbing fern forms dense canopies on understory and trees and blocks sunlight to the native plant communities. So it does destroy native plant communities. A biological control agents, uh, once you release them and they become established, they will reproduce and spread to other areas where they haven't been released. It also it potentially can help control the plant on private properties adjoining uh, district lands. So we're hopeful that releasing biocontrol agents to control old world climbing fern without herbicides will help reduce the cost and the effort required to manage this plant on district lands. So this is real good for us.